Hey guys, All In Crypto here and welcome back for another video everybody. In this video we're going to be taking a look at three DeFi projects that I think each and every one of you should be aware of. Certainly in 2021, 2021 being the year where we are supposed to have a repeat of 2017 and prior to that 2013 if you look at the Bitcoin four year cycle uh, sort of theory and you look at the charts. We are lining up perfectly for 2021 to be a repeat, a bull market, a extravaganza of buying in a similar fashion to 2017. And guys, uh, with the sort of up and coming rise of DeFi, there are certain coins in that sector that are going to capture more um, money flowing into DeFi and more sort of venture capital uh, coming into the space than others. And you really, when you're looking at DeFi projects, you want to pick a project with um, stability, with fundamentals, with a good team behind it, with a, li a long list of things you sort of want to tick off before you decide to pick a DeFi project. So I have three DeFi projects for you guys today's, today, which each and every one of you should know about if you are get, if you are starting to get interested in the DeFi space. DeFi is going to be massive, guys. We haven't yet seen a significant bull run. We've seen a number of coins do extremely well. But for a prolonged period of time, we haven't seen a, you know, a 2017 bull run uh, for DeFi. We saw it for Ethereum uh, in 2017, and we saw it for Bitcoin, obviously, in 2013, and then every sort of fourth year um, after that. Um, and and guys, without further ado, without me waffling on much more, let's get straight into what those projects are. And the first project that I have for you guys is Ave. Ave today is 13th in market cap. It is. Uh, $490. It has $6 billion in terms of market cap, guys. Ave has really performed this in about a year's time. Um, it was currently known as ETH Lend. Ave is a peer-to-peer -peer lending and borrowing uh, system. Um, it is decentralized. It is an absolute project to watch, guys. As we see people moving away from centralization, banks, governments, uh, hedge funds, you know, um, all these sort of corporations and move towards a more de decentralized world, Ave, I believe, is going to be massive. I think Ave will end up in the top 10. Um, and its price, price performance has done absolutely fantastic, guys. It really, really has. We can see how Ave has performed in a year. Ave has performed exceptionally well. Now let's jump over to the Ave. That, but one thing that is important for me to remember when you when you're looking into coins, always take a look at what that coin uh, cap is. So how many coins are there ever going to be in existence? I think the Ave inflation rate is like 1.4, 1.3, 1.2% round about there. It has a very low inflation rate in terms of coins minted. And there is a circulating supply of round about 12 um, million Ave. Um, very, 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 very small supply, a max supply of 16 million. So if you think about that in comparison with a lot of other DeFi projects that have a significantly higher cap on coins, you know, there's a, there's a real opportunity for Ave to reach a high price, similar to maybe, you know, uh, Bitcoin, you know, we're talking thousands, not hundreds here. Ave is certainly not finished and where Ave ends up at the end of 2021 is anybody's guess, but I think we will be a, you know, definitely into the thousands. Um, where that tops out is anybody's guess. Um, but Aave, guys, like I say, it's a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, lending and borrowing protocol. The liquidity protocol currently has 4.8 billion. Uh, Aave is an open sourced and non-custodial uh, liquid protocol for earning interest on deposits and borrowing assets. We are, one reason we're seeing such a big growth in the DeFi sector is because traditional sort of finance offers very low interest across the board at the moment. Um, whereas DeFi, you know, there, there, there's a real, uh, real chance to sort of earn more on your money, essentially. And if we take a look down here, Ave, I think, uh, supports over 20 assets. Um, it will give you the sort of market size, the total borrowed. It will give you sort of a breakdown of, of what's actually happening with each asset on the protocol. Um, for depositing your uh, DAI, you currently get 11.25%. 
Um, for borrowing it, you get uh, so for, for, for the borrowing sort of rate available is twenty two point five four percent, and borrow. Uh, stable, so a fixed rate is two twenty seven point five hundred percent. So I'll give you a breakdown of every single every single sort of currency. You've got Uniswap on here. You've got Yearn Finance, Rand, um, Basic Attention Token, Kyber Network, Chainlink. You've got it. You've got you've got a lot of coins on here. One thing that all three of these projects have in common that I've I've brought up for you is they're all ERC twenty tokens. So they all run on Ethereum in layman's terms. Um, but Aave guys, I think is an absolute project and it's one to watch. There's a number of interesting things. One thing that I tackled this first was it's one of the things I've got most to say about. Um, it currently has an e-money license in the UK. It's centered in London. Now the fact that they've been given an e-money license should have been a way bigger thing than it actually was. And essentially what Aave is more or less trying to do is bring traditional um, sort of institutions into this DeFi space. They want it to, to be a safe if you will, as possible, and, and that transaction to be, um, you know, as smooth as possible and seem as legit as, as possible. And I think Alve really is setting up, uh, in my opinion, to, to, to sort of jump into the top 10 at some point. Without further ado, guys, so that's number one. Number one is Alve. Number two, guys, is, of course, Uniswap. I've made a video about Uniswap uh, not that long ago. I love Uniswap. I think the fact that you can exchange tokens. Um, it, it, so I'll, I'll explain what Uniswap is briefly before I go into it. Uniswap is a decentralized exchange for ERC20 tokens. All you need to do is connect maybe a MetaMask wallet or a Trust wallet or, or one of the ERC wallets to Uniswap and it will allow you to, tr to, to uh, essentially swap your ERC20 tokens among each other. Um, Uniswap today is 14th in market cap. It's around about 20 and a half, well, around about $20. Uh, it's up 38% on the uh, week and it's nearly $6 billion in terms of market cap, guys. Um, there are a significant more number of tokens than there is to Aave, but I think the price really reflects that. Uh, Uniswap, there is um, 28, 20, 289 million coins in existence to date that number of course will go up so uniswap guys is a, a decentralized trading protocol guaranteed liquidity for millions of users and hundreds of ethereum applications so it's essentially like i say it, you can swap your erc20 tokens in a decentralized manner where there's no sort of you know you're not relying on uh, one of the sort of exchanges to to, to, to to fill your orders i have personally connected wallets to uniswap and swapped between coins you actually get a very good rate on uniswap um, a very fair rate there is a little bit of slippage involved um, however that's kind of standard but what you can actually do on uni on, on uniswap is you can actually provide liquidity and you'll get paid for liquidity um, I'll quickly show you the layout of Uniswap as we're sort of going on about it. Um, you, you, like I say, Uniswap guys, fantastic, fantastic project. So essentially, guys, all you need to do is come onto the um, go onto the Uniswap website, click Exchange, connect to MetaMask wallet or or, or or whatever wallet you're using for your ERC20 tokens, and you can essentially pick pairs that you want to trade between like you, you can see that they have a hell of a lot of um, coins on here of course they've got Aave, Band, they've got every coin that I'm talking about today, Bat, Compound, um, Link, uh, Decentraland, they've got a, a long list maker, they've got a long list of coins on here and you can sort of swap between them so for argument's sake let's say we want to swap um, it will give you, this is how it works, and you can essentially connect your wallet and swap between these um, in a decentralized way. And as we see the space evolve towards being decentralized, something like Uniswap is really at the forefront of this. Um, all these products have somewhat a different uh, use case. However, they all fit under the, the, the sort of branch of DeFi. So Uniswap guys, do some due diligence on Uniswap. Please, you are gonna be missing out big time if you don't. Uh, and so Uniswap is the second, Aave being the first, Uniswap the second. The third token that I have for you guys today is Synthetics. Now let's take a little look about where Synthetics is in terms of market cap. It's 24th in terms of how big its market cap is. Sat around about the same price as Uniswap, around about $20, $21. Uh, it's up 28% on the 
um, weekly. It's up 13% on the daily. It has a market cap le- significantly lower than the others, nearly by, by half and a bit, of 2.4 billion. Um, there are 114 million uh, synthetics tokens. Now, synthetics is a very, very interesting one, guys. And it, it's one sort of it's one of the DeFi uh, tokens that we can really see bridging into re- in, into the real world. I'll give you a quick breakdown of what Synthetix is. Like I say, this isn't a deep dive on any of these coins by any means, guys. Um, it is just me um, giving you a little bit of background about these coins and, and hopefully trying to put them on your radar and, and potentially into your portfolio if you see fit. Like I say, this is all my opinion, guys. Do your own due diligence. But I think you'll come up to very much the same conclusion that I personally have. Um, now, Synthetix uh, Network essentially allows you to synthetically... Um, it allows you to synthetically represent real world assets um, in the form of a token. So one to one. So you have SUSD, which is synthetics uh, tokenized USD. And that's pegged, of course, to the it's one for one for the US dollar, essentially. So that so, that, so they move um, the price, the price, for, it's Fed price and they move sort of in tangent. Um, there's a number of other things that have been tokenized on the synthetics, such as uh, gold, silver. We see some equity coming towards it. And you can really see how something like Synthetics Network is setting up to capture. Um, a, it, it has a real world, world use case. You could tokenize houses on it. You could tokenize um, little things like you could tokenize trivial things like fruit and keep track of the price of fruit and and so on and so forth, guys. But Synthetic Network is very, very interesting. Like I said, they, these all have uh, somewhat different use cases. Are they being mainly focused on lending and borrowing? They have things like flash loans. They're, 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 the Arve is going to be huge, guys. Trust me on that. Um, Uniswap is, centra- is, is sort of focused on being a de- decentralized trading protocol, a decentralized exchange, a DEX. And Synthetics is really pro- focused on um, synthetic, synthetically... Um, tokenizing real world assets, I guess you could say. Now, like I say, guys, all of these coins you really wanna watch. Now, why am I so huge on DeFi right now? Because I just wanna break down something for you very, very quickly. I hope I've sort of done these coins justice um, in a sense. You can earn, of course, you can earn rewards by providing collateral to Synthetics Protocol. So one thing I'll say quickly on Synthetics is very overly collateralized. So there's more collateral than there is um, tokenized assets. Um, if that makes sense. So, so all of these are, are based on collateral. There's collateral for all of them. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to essentially synthetically represent the real world asset. Um, now, what I want to do, guys, is I want to actually talk to you about Ethereum. And, and why I'm doing this is because I do not believe that DeFi has really had any sort of a significant bull run in the same way we saw Ethereum and, and the rest of the cryptos in 2017 and prior to that 2013. I talk a lot about the Bitcoin four year cycle theory. And for those of you who don't know what that is, go and check out my video of Bitcoin is going to $100,000 in 2021. Well worth a watch for anybody interested in the crypto space. You really want to be getting to grips with how Bitcoin moves and how its cycles work because you can predict a lot of the altcoins sort of based around that. Um, as Bitcoin is, it, 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 well, still is the majority of money in crypto. Um, but why I'm talking to you about Ethereum, guys, is because I don't think DeFi has necessarily had that mania. It's not been involved in that mania yet. I think 2021 is the first year we're going to sort of see that mania take place. We're going to see trillions, in my opinions, of dollars flow into the cryptocurrency space. And DeFi really sets up to take a large portion of that. And you'll see that Ethereum uh, in 2017 went from around about $9, $10, all the way up to around about uh, $1,380, guys. Fantastic run. And I think you're going to see a similar thing take place with DeFi, guys. Like I say, Aave will be a Easily a couple of thousand um, dollar token. Uniswap will hit well over a hundred. Same with synthetics. These coins, even though they may seem somewhat expensive now, in comparison to where they're going to be at the end of the year, guys, are an absolute steal. I personally own every single one of these coins, and I'm personally going to be trying to accumulate on lows um, in a sort of dollar cost average way as we continue forward. So that's really the video that I have for you guys. Like I said, bear that in mind that DeFi, yes, it's done exceptionally well this year, but it hasn't really um, 
had a 2017 and I think this year it is going to. That's why I'm so, so bullish on DeFi. And when you're looking into DeFi, it's important to make sure you pick the right ones. That's all I have for you in this video, guys. I don't want to make this too long. Let me know what you think in the, think in the comments. Do you agree with my picks? There are a lot of mentionable uh, sort of, there are a lot of um, runners up, if you will. I, I'm, I'm bullish on a hell of a lot of other DeFi coins. However, for the, these three in particular really stand out for me. They're ones that I personally am, um, I've not necessarily used synthetics. I've used Uniswap, I've used Arvo. But I am going to try and use synthetics, give it a bit of a whirl. I own synthetics, synthetics to be transparent with you. I own all these coins, and I'm going to look, be looking to accumulate more. But you know, let me know what you think in the comments. What do you think? Do you think that you know? Am I right with these picks? Do you think would you put these in your top three? Would you not? Let me know in the comments. And if there's any sort of shout outs to coins that you want me to maybe have a look at in the future, let me know. If you could leave me a like, that really helps me out as this is a growing YouTube channel. And um, subscribe for more videos, guys, because I'm bringing them out pretty much daily now. And if you're going to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified when more videos are released. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Have a great day wherever you are, whatever you're doing. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks a lot.